Nah. Like in uh, air, you got satellites. I think some things we may never see. I'd I, be surprised if we see, um, like, like, like comfortable colonization on Mars in our lifetime. Or yeah, I, was watching, like, I was watching Mr. Mr. Musk talk about like, yeah, I'll be there in probably like 40, 60 years, but comfortable. Yeah, I agree. You know, like you can just fucking open an app and be like, you guys want to go to Mars for the weekend? Like the fucking Coachella on Mars or whatever. Probably one generation, two generation. Yeah, I feel like then I, I got I got deep into uh, like inter interplanetary stuff um, of like of like lives, like lives. Because um, I remember I, I was I was a couple weeks ago I was going into like ancient civilizations and stuff. Um, let me try to find the stuff I was looking at, but it, it was talking. There's a a theory of uh like different energy uses and like levels through life um it is called um it's called the theory or the card kardashev scale let me pop this onto the screen That isn't what I wanted to pop on the screen. It's basically saying that. Well, that's not, not what I want. You see all these freaking tab. Oh, no, it is. Um, Kardashian scale. Uh, there's different levels. And right now we're like 0.5 of four. And eventually there's levels that are getting energy from other planets and then getting energy from stars and then from complete solar systems I'm trying to find one where there's a, a timeline of it but it's very very interesting and it kind of makes sense conceptually as as the human i am right now which is pretty cool um but that's when like uh the simulation theory comes in where there's a level where it all the things is just kind of made up of of someone entity doing something else type one available energy from the home planet type two energy from the star and planetary system type three able to use available energy of their galaxy and type four civilization able to use the available energy of multiple galaxies and then there's a fifth where it's just a a kid in his room. But it's very, very interesting. Kid yeah. in his room picking his ass and like some of the poop that's on his finger is like this, what we're looking at right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. But that's I mean, it makes sense. Great. You got you're depleting sources of the earth, you gotta go to a different planet. Um so I think did you ever see that one thing where Musk is like where where the like the first civilization to ever do anything or it's a simulation? Yeah, I think that kind of stems from this where he's like, we're either the first people to go out and try to get energy from other places or other people have like died doing it. Or this is just, you know, another cycle of, of another one, which kind of makes more sense statistically. But I don't know. Yeah. Or you had ancient civilizations who knew stuff. Dude, I'm also reading a, a book. That's really cool called Shape. Uh, I'm sure if I just type in Shape, it'll come up. It's, uh, it's about geometry and like math. Oh my goodness. Shape by shape. Uh, really cool book. It's about geometry and in, in, in life. Information, biology, strategy, democracy, and everything else by Jordan Ellenberg. Get him on the show, dude. It's the same person. <laughs> Jordan Ellenberg. Hey, Jordan. We would love for you to come on and discuss your, your book. Your geometry. It's really, really cool. There's some things that I don't really care about, some chapters, but it's just like a bunch of chapters of like cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And because, uh, you know, I'm trying to master the universe and whatnot. So I'm trying to figure out cycles and how that works. And how can I can uh, apply it to a satisfied and egregiously monetarily and 
peacefully of the mind life, you know? Yeah. My goodness. Trying to master the universe one step at a time. Uh, let's see if I probably have a couple other headlines. Anything you saw in, in the news, Geese, on this Sunday interview episode?